Hey guys, this is Lego Miner 229 and welcome to my first video. Actually, this is my first video. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego set, Lego movie set to be more specific, the double decker couch. And so here we have the double decker couch looking really nice and blue, I guess. Blue is the main color for this. But blue, you don't care about the color, you care about what this is. So, again, this is the double decker couch. And just let me remove these guy the mini figures for a second. Just so that you can see it. But before we do the review this, we're going to review this, which is Emmett's car. It comes with the set and it's very compact and it's done well, I think, personally. And so it has doors on either side that open and close. It has a removable roof. And you can get Emmett inside. It does come with a construction hat for Emmett. And if we look through here, you can see that there is actually a printed piece that says radio on it. So you could have Emmett driving around listening to Everything is Awesome. I guess, if you wanted to. And so, on the front of the car, I like the detail. The amount of detail they have here is really nice. It's good. And then, I guess these are supposed to be, like, rear view mirrors or something. So, this is the car from sides, front, and back. And now, we're going to look at the couch itself. So, from the front, it looks really nice. It does have cup holders like it did in the movie. The ladder is actually fold down like this. But when you've got them up, I know this is a little nitpickish, but the ladders, if you look kind of closely, you'll notice that the ladders are slightly pointed out. And uh, then this is what it looks like from the back. Not the greatest back view, but, you know, they did the best they could. You're probably you're usually going to be looking at it from the front anyway. And the blue that they used on this, the blue. It's the blue that gets me. I think the blue is really good. Now, I know that some people might not agree with me. Some people might say that the blue is too light or too dark. But I think that the blue is really good and it's really nice. I, I don't know what you'd call this blue, like a baby blue, maybe. And so, then, on um, up here, you'll notice that these are exposed, and these have a piece over them. That's because, since this is the top part, and this is the bottom part, you will notice that they are actually done differently. And then, and then, so... You might have, you probably will have noticed that there are these studs here... And you can, of course, sit a minifigure on there like that. Oh, yeah, and something else about it is that this comes down like that really easily. You probably don't want that to happen, but it does happen really easily. <laughs> Sorry, my dad is filming this, and he's just doing hilarious things. It's tough. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> this is just my dad. Uh, anyway, this is the couch. It looks really nice and cool. Stop. <laughs> Sorry, again. He keeps doing it. I'm telling him to stop. <laughs> okay, so anyway, nicely done, very well designed. I think personally that it looks good. And now we're going to move on to the minifigures. So first, we're going to start off with Ghost of Vitruvius. Who comes with the ghost piece, but with an orange headband. And then it comes with a white staff. Of course, the Unikitty piece that attaches to the horn. And the, I guess, monster fighter crystal piece that's been reused. And so, the torso is just plain white. And then this down here does have printing on it. Doesn't it glow in the dark? Yes, this does glow in the dark. Should we show them how it glows in the dark? Glow in the dark. It's got a sparkly cape, of course, all the Trivius minifigures do. And we're going to go show you how this glows in the dark. Oh, oh, wow, he doesn't actually need to charge, but yeah, there we go. Charge, right? He's glowing, you can see. Let's charge he him up. 
he does need a better, sorry, I'm going to leave the camera for a little while just to charge him up. So to charge him up, you just need to hold him under the light. And then you go back into a dark area and he will glow. Nice. And of course, he does glow green, which is nice. I guess it sort of goes with a ghost-esque like thing. And he does, it is a unique to this set minifigure. The glow in the dark fat, um, I guess factor or whatever section thing of it is really nice and cool. And moving on to, I guess, not what you'd really call a minifigure, but more of a figure. And this is, of course, Unikitty in her sitting down version. Now, the face I currently have on her is not the face that comes with the set. It's actually the face that comes with the Cloud Cuckoo Palace set. Show the camera. It's hard to see. Don't Here's show what she looks camera. like. No. Oh! Nice. And then, if we take this head and put it on the body that comes with the Cloud Cuckoo Palace set, Sorry, guys. My dad is doing it again. Okay. So, this... And then she looks like this. So, we're gonna take this part of her aside and give her one of the faces she actually does come with, which is the sad face. She comes with the horn, of course, and the ears, and she looks very sad here. Now, to change it to this face, you actually do have to take off the top of the head, and then, of course, this white piece... That's always a little hard. And then you just arrange the pieces back on. And then you have this face ready to rock. And so just let me change that. Wait, let me show that to you guys better, actually. Okay, and so I'm going to change that back before the end of the video. But for now, since the time of, is of the essence, we are going to move on to... President Business. And this can be from the end of the movie where he's friendly. And so... Or the sad face comes in. And of course when Claude Cougarland is destroyed and Emmett builds this for the first time. Except for in his dream world. And so then... Well, basically his head, I guess. But then, anyways, <laughs> we've got President Business. Nice printing on the front, of course, like all President Businesses. And then we've got this exclusive two president business hair piece. So we've got a double-sided face. One is just like, wee, I'm so happy. And the other one is sort of like, okay, I have a question. It's my turn, it's my turn. I got a question. Okay, Can Benny. Okay, Benny. I okay, okay. I I'm, I'm going to save you for last. Because oh, okay. you're my favorite character. Okay. Yeah, you just heard that. Benny's my favorite character. And so anyway, here he is. President Business, looking pretty cool. Spaceships! There he is. And then, of course, the main, the main <laughs> character in the Lego movie. The exciting one. The special. Many things you can call him. It is, of course, Emmett. And he comes with Emmett's, you know, classic torso piece that is a construction worker and then he's got the construction worker legs that say Emmett on them and then this one of course has the regular Emmett hair but a new face for Emmett and this one is I guess a happy face I'll give you a better look at that and then there's more of a concerned sad face to go along with the destruction of Cloud Cuckoo Land scene And that's it for Emmett. Here's what he looks like holding his waffle. Oh, I, no, I almost forgot. Here is another way that you can have Emmett. Of course, when I showed you the car, I showed you that it came with this construction hat. So, of course, you can put him like this when he's happy. Or like this when he's sad. I don't know when Emmett would have a construction hat on and be sad. Because when he wears a construction hat, he's obviously in Bricksburg. And in Bricksburg, everything is awesome, so you should be happy. 
But anyway, this construction hat does not have the hair like the minifigure and the minifigures sets, I guess you could call them, came with. And so, therefore, if you look at him from behind, it's kind of creepy because you see another <laughs> face. It's just like, what the heck is wrong with him? That was kind of creepy. And so then you can just, I'm going to set him aside and go for trivia aside. And now we're moving on to, oh wait, I forgot to show you this. Waffle piece. <laughs> and we're moving on to the final character, but last but certainly not least, Benny. And so, Benny, of course, is meant to represent the classic, meant to represent the classic 1970s and 1980s spaceman. He comes with a giant sausage in this set, or hot dog, or whatever, snack of choice, you can call it whatever you like. He does have the 1980s, 1970s space logo on here, obviously meant to look a little scratched up, because, you know, he's his era is old. And then we've got this helmet, which is meant to look cracked, but it's actually not. It's just molded like that. And, of course, we do get the classic 1980s air pack or jet pack or air tank, whatever you want to call it, which is now used today as a modern fire truck piece, usually. And so then we have this very happy, I guess, you know, we've saved the world. I'm so happy. Probably I could, I could build some more spaceships now face. <laughs> and then this face goes along with the destruction of Cloud Cuckoo Land face. This, um... Destruction of Cloud Cuckoo Land point. Th th that's really a spoiler alert. I've said that a lot now, but I'm just <laughs> realizing now that it's a spoiler. Anyway, this face is also when they're like, no, Benny, you can't keep, don't build a spaceship. It's not time to build a spaceship now. No, it's not time. You shouldn't build it now. It's not the right time. And so on and so forth. A bunch of excuses and reasons why Benny should not build a spaceship. Anyway, that concludes the minifigures. And so, like I started with this video, I'm going to show you the couch with all of the figures on it, and, um, yeah, I'll show you Ghost Vitruvius on top of the car, I guess, one of the main ways you were expected to display it. So, Yumi Kitty goes up there, giant sausage Benny goes over here. And you don't, of course, you don't have to display them this way. Am I dead? Because I, I don't feel piece. dead, but I feel ghostly. Hmm. And of course, you can put these guys wherever you want. They don't have to be put on in the order or way I'm putting them on. It's not like it's going to explode if you don't do this. <laughs> And so this is what it looks like with every single character on Sweet. it. And Ghost Vitruvius on the car. Um, so that concludes my first video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, uh, bye guys.